Do you guys yes. give less of a fuck as you get older too? Where yes. It's like, it's, oh yeah, for sure. You're just oh like, God. You know what? No. Yeah. I don't care anymore. You, I'm, well, I'm overdrawn that. at the fuck bank. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, if I, life is yeah. like a give a fuck bank, I want an overdraft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get to a point like, dude, I I've seen enough of this bullshit. Yeah. I don't give a fuck no, anymore. I think that's why it. bitter old people are a thing. Great. Yeah. That's why they exist because they've just had enough. Feels- Actually, I found that over the past two years, people like getting out now. Mm-hmm. That when they drive, they suck even worse. And it's... Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's weird oh, I because it. I am now... <laughs> um, I'm more accepting. These days, I'm like, let it go. I, I let... You know, somebody cuts me off. It's I'm not pulling up next to him going, you motherfucker. I'm not chasing him down which side he did. streets. Which I have. Uh, you know, we chasing... Have. Them. I've, I've done it. Everyone, uh, everyone in New Jersey has done it. Did I you do it when you had Ming's car? Because that would have been great. No, that would have been no. fantastic. I, ah. it, so it turned out it was one of my best friends joking around with me. They were tailing me, oh. and I, and I <laughs> pulled into a parking lot thinking like, "What the fuck was going?" So I got out of my car, and my friend was so scared because I didn't recognize it because it was at nighttime. He backed up and got out quickly, like Christian, it's me. I was like, "You oh. fucker." <laughs> That's funny. Oh my God. But sorry, Mike. Continue. No, 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 no. That's but. <laughs> Now it nowadays it's like whatever. I mean, I really don't give a fuck, and I right. don't give a fuck what you do, you know. And I'm not driving like 30 miles an hour under the speed limit. People like get up in my tailpipe, mm-hmm. you know. I'm doing like 40 in a 35, mm-hmm. and it's like motherfucker, get off my ass. Right. I'll pull over and let them go because yeah. obviously they've got someplace more important yeah. to be, and. Not nine times out of ten, but like that one time out of ten when the cop pulled them over and I'm driving by going like this to him. You know, <laughs> Motherfucker, see, you were in a hurry to get a ticket now, weren't you? Yeah. And yeah, that, that witness, makes it all worthwhile. But to witness karma like that is 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 that's truly dream. wonderful in, in yes, its own. Absolutely. Like that's that's a great feeling. Oh, it is. When you and, watch a scumbag yeah. get everything they deserve. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's a kink at this point. <laughs> oh, it's like this is so sweet, and that makes you. It doesn't just make your day; it makes your week. Yeah. So you're like, because oh, you're just gonna great. keep smiling about. This. Yes. It's like justice. In justice. The yeah. It exists. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> I mean, you could be sitting there getting reamed out by your boss, and you're just like got that little smile on your face, going, "I remember that motherfucker. Yeah. He got pulled over. That was great." <laughs> and then when you when you ground yourself again, it's gonna be like, "I hope you get a ticket too." Yeah. You're not gonna and, say uh, it. But Oh, no, think it really, not. really loudly. Yeah, of course you are. So, oh, I love that type of justice. But uh, to answer your question, yes, the older you get, the less of a fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. zero fucks for man. sure. Yeah, well, it's just not worth the time. No, giving a fuck just isn't worth the no, time. It's not. It's. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I'm already like same thing with the people. Like, I'm happy to move over. I typically drive in the left lane because I, I'm usually going, particularly like in the parkway on the parkway, like heading here. I'm trying to go ten above. Okay, <laughs> trying to go seventy five ish. Okay, but if I see, you know, nine times out of ten, it's a pickup truck coming up behind me. I'm like, I'm just gonna move over and yeah. let him go. Like, I'm not trying to make a statement or slow anybody down. Like, you want to speed? Be my guest. You want to do eighty five? Mm-hmm. Feel free. Because it's just like not worth. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not trying to. Get in anybody's way because I don't like if I'm that person and somebody's in my way. And at the same time, you know, it's the reason it's the same reason people can be such assholes on Twitter. It's because the anonymity of being in your car is the same. Nobody knows who I am. There feels like there's no consequences. I'm surrounded by steel and airbags. I will be fine if anything does happen. Just don't get out of the so, car. Yeah, well, that's Easy it. Enough. Exactly. Or so have that really cool um, you know, hatchet by your you know, handbrake. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> just all I have to just do is put my case. hand down there and just feel it's, it's heavyweight. Like, She's like, I know. I, like if shit I, goes I, down, I, I I'm ready. I'm, I could. And shit has gone down and people have, uh, there was one time it was oddly enough when my wife was, was pregnant, we went down to uh, Williamstown. It's by uh, Glassboro or okay. Rowan. Mm. So, uh, and she grew up, and this is it. I think it's the meth capital of New Jersey because it's, <laughs> it's Williamstown officially. It's, yeah, I, it should be. It's, <laughs> welcome to Williams. Williams Four Town. years running. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Best meth, gold medal winner <laughs> exactly. in the, the meth <laughs> meth Olympics. So, um, this guy like is behind me honking his horn, just being a real douchebag because I'm doing the speed limit, mm-hmm. and I pull into 
the Shoprite parking lot, which is, uh, I guess, where everyone goes to, you know, congregate, have a party, fuck, whatever they do in Shoprite parking lot. Buy or exchange. Yeah. So I, I pull out. I I pull in, and he pulls them behind me. Throws uh, his car into park. It's a truck, and I look back into my rearview mirror, and he gets out of his car. But I'm looking at it, and half of his hood is gone. It's missing. Half of the hood on his truck is missing. I'm like, like torn off or just gone. rust, rust eaten and gone. Oh, and wow. I'm like, oh, okay. This and talk about a guy who gives zero fucks. That's him because, I mean, fucking raccoons could live in there. I mean, it's just <laughs> you're like, holy shit. And he gets out and he looks at me. He's like, and he smiles and he's like missing five of his teeth on the one side. And I'm okay. like, oh shit. And I'm like, and Jules is, she's pregnant. And she's like, don't you dare get out of this car. She, mm. Don't you dare get out of this car. Cause God help, you know, cause then I'll have to get out. And I'm, I'm like, don't worry about it, honey. So I looked at him, I'm like, rolled down my window. I'm like, is there a problem? He's like, you goddamn well bet there. And I'm like, all right. And I, he, and he's from Jersey right. and he's got this fucking hick hillbilly accent and i roll up my window throw trailer my par- car trailer park english yes yeah <laughs> throw my car in the drive and just like spun out and like i think he tried to jump in the way like oh yeah i'm going and i'm like go around see you later and i'm like motherfucker and, and she's like i would have killed you and she's like and she's blaming me and i'm like right. this guy <laughs> was behind me and he pulled in, and he was what, being. What was he even mad about? Like, what did you do that he would have even? Followed? I was doing the speed limit. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's your fucking violation. I was doing thirty-five yeah. miles an hour and a thirty-five. He's like, you motherfucker. You, were, you had precious cargo, man. Like, I did, um, and I know. Well, and, that's but, ridiculous. But it's the guy part of you that you know when you're yeah. thirty. I think I was thirty-five at the time. Thirty-five mm-hmm. at the time, you're like, son of a bitch, I will fucking end you. Yeah, you know, and. I do have precious cargo, and I don't want my unborn child to see me, you know, not stand up to this motherfucker. And I'm like, right. wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. And, but his, you know, but he's gonna is, hear it, and he's gonna judge me. He should, <laughs> should listen. Yeah, but uh-huh. and it's like, what the fuck? And that's that's when you start giving fucks about the things that matter. So when you get right. older, right, you give zero fucks about shit that doesn't matter. But there are some things that you give a lot of fucks about. So that's an excellent way to say it. So it's not much that uh, you give less of a fuck. It's just the fucks shift. You, yeah. You, your priorities change. Yes. Like you, you, you care less about the bullshit, more about the family. Yeah. Like stuff. you're not going to concert because your priorities have changed. You're just like <laughs> no. homeboy today at the no. rest stop. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be you. Like yeah. the old man. I used Home- to be you. I used to be like you. Homeboy. That's the old man. Oh my God. I mean, I'm using the Home term very man, liberally. Uh, yeah. 